Her life aboard that ship was so unbearable, she felt death would be a relief. But the sweet maid I knew is now a spirit bent on revenge. So we agree Fiona has to be stopped. We can't burn her bones or at the bottom of the Atlantic. Could destroy the locket. Then again, she might also be tethered to something else on the ship. Either way, nothing can bring back the poor people she killed. Actually, there might be a, a way to fix pretty much everything. What? Keep Fiona from going Casper in the first place. Yeah. There's no reason for her to be a ghost if she's not angry and alone on the ship. You don't intend to tamper with the flow of time, do you? That's up to Gavin. Look, we're looking for a fix here, okay? This is it. Get him aboard that ship. He travels with Fiona, keeps her safe. And go to his death. That's your solution. Well, I didn't say it was the fun one, okay? Just the one, and you know it. And it would keep history intact. I was thinking the same thing. I loved her. She loved me. That's the only reason any of this happened. I can spare her the nightmare she's trapped in. Can he say I ever fit here? Here I'm alone. Fiona and me, we'll spend eternity together. Never gonna happen. Just because Dim and Dimmer here can't keep their own family all in the same dimension doesn't mean they can mess with mine. Father, I want to do this. What you want is a gym membership, happy hour at Hooters and Cubs tickets, none of which are available anywhere else but here. I've made up my mind. And why did you call me? You called him? To say... Goodbye. Let him go, Fergus. Butt out. Fergus? He's not like us. He believes in things. Let him do what he believes is right. Sorry, Father. 